Hey guys, back here with another video. So, you want to lift your Hummer H2. Don't do it. Nah, I'm just kidding. If you want to do it, do it. Do whatever you want to do. If it uh, makes you feel better, if you want to spend that money, go for it. Um, little rundown on this thing. I just finished it up. It was uh, stock. Looks so much better. I'll include a picture here of what it looked like stock. Uh, compared to this, but I want to tell you a little bit about this thing uh, the H3s and the Silverados and uh, So on and so forth the vehicles with the torsion bars underneath um, If you look at videos online uh, They they show you exactly how easy it is to lift one of these. It's bullshit uh, the H2 is a lot different as far as getting those torsion bars out. It's not just as simple as getting the torsion key, unloading the torsion bar, and driving them out. There is no way to drive the torsion bars out from the rear on these. And for example, on this thing, they were rusted in there it was an absolute bear to get those out and what i had to do was i had to torch them out it was not a fun job so the kit come with four bilstein shocks new keys and some brackets for the new bilstein shocks I try to show you down here so a couple brackets that you put on there four new shocks and some spacers for the rear end and this thing is pretty much you know the kit makes it seem like it's going to be an easy job but you work on anything used that has rust it's not easy shit just don't come out like it's supposed to but there's the spacers three inch lift on this thing and then of course um, you have to remove the brakes um, the bracket on the rear end and those were rusted so we went ahead and replaced his brake lines as well and then you're running into having to do uh, a uh, little bit of a brake job some things it's just better to go ahead and do things while you're in there but this thing uh, I have to say it looks a hell of a lot better than stock this is a 2007 has the 6.0 Vortec in it the guy bought this thing to save on gas mileage as funny as that sounds he uh, has a 2016 Duramax, drives an hour one way to work. So he bought this Hummer to save on gas and then put a lift on it. How crazy. Doesn't seem like a smart idea to me, but to each their own. Um, he says that the amount of money he'll save in fuel alone going to a gas from the diesel will more than pay for his payment. So uh, it's worth it in that sense. And if that's what you want to drive, you want to drive a big old Hummer, um, go for it. Diesel uh, prices the way things are now these days. It, um, I don't blame the guy. Not really sold on this brush guard. It kind of looks like an H1 from the front. But nonetheless, um, if uh, you end up doing one of these, just know that those torsion bars, if they rust, uh, there's, there's just no way in hell. I torched them in half and beat and beat and beat and beat till we were blue in the face. Finally got those things out. And just for shits and giggles, even though we were getting new keys, I went ahead and took them over to the press to press out the piece of the torsion bar and boy it it was in there 
there's no way anybody could have got those out um, so keep that in mind on these H2s that they're going to be a little bit different than an H3 or a Silverado just because you can't get in and maybe I can get down here and show you you can't get in here behind the key to drive because of this framing which is part of the actual frame and then the gas tanks right behind it and even if you cut a hole in here sorry I lost I'm a little blurry here but even if you cut a hole to drive something to get from the back drive it torsion bar out the front you still have to remove the gas tank so this middle uh, torsion bar support unbolts and these are pretty simple so this is what's going to adjust your ride height when you tighten this it will actually turn the bar and in turn that goes inside of the lower control arm which will turn and apply a pressure downwards which will lift that up even more so in order to get these out you use a torsion bar unloading key it looks like a c-clamp and once you take that bolt out the pressure from the key will come down now you have to use the clamp and it it turns this key back up in order to get this piece out that piece is the only thing that holds that key in minus the actual torsion bar itself so you need that key or that torsion bar key when you are going to do one of these it's a must you can order it online it's 20 30 bucks whatever it is get it you need it so let me know what you guys think if you've done one of these before uh, if you've had any sort of troubles with them I know I did just because of the rust but this one's done I'm getting ready to drive it up to the alignment shop right now and this thing uh, We'll be ready to go. I called the guy last night, had him stop in. It was kind of a surprise. He didn't know that the parts even came in. I went ahead and got it done for him and surprised him. So, all right, guys, like and subscribe, and I'll keep putting out more content. We'll catch you guys on the next one.